from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Have I ever had sex with an illegal alien? You bet. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted villain. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. <laughs> Love this. You can stop sending this story. I know. I know. I know it happened. And many of you remember that, of course, it didn't take a genius. It didn't take the amazing Kreskin to tell you that this was going to happen. <laughs> well, the only person who didn't know this was going to happen was Star Jones herself. Here it is, Dateline New York from the Associated Press. Three years after tying the knot in a spectacular, over-the-top affair that caused some backlash... Star Jones has decided to end her marriage to banker Al Reynolds. <laughs> the 46-year-old, they call her a TV personality. What show is she on now? The 46-year-old freelancer... The 46-year-old consultant, the 46-year-old former TV personality, quietly filed divorce papers March 26th in New York Supreme Court in Manhattan. The records are sealed, syndicated entertainment show Entertainment Tonight reported on Wednesday. But a representative for Shadow PR, which represents Jones, and by the way, being in Star Jones Shadow is not a hard thing to be. Confirmed to the Associated Press that she is seeking to end the union. But why? The fact that the New York Post reported years ago that uh, shortly after they uh, they hitched up, uh, Al Reynolds was found in a bathhouse somewhere running around nothing but a towel. Could that have said something to do with it? That was just a report. The gossip column from the New York Post. I don't know if it was true or not, but I did read it. I mean, let's be honest. I don't know. Al Reynolds could be the most heterosexual man in the world. But what straight guy would marry a big, fat tub of goo like that? I mean, seriously speak. Come on. Oh, baby. I'll tell you something. If she gets divorced from this guy, she is going to owe him one floral stretch pants load of money. That's what she's going to owe him. Just imagine that some of those floral print stretch pants stretched all the way out, stuffed with $100 bills. That's what she's going to owe. <laughs> yes, the statement uh, goes like this. She said a statement to entertainment tonight, uh, which I would imagine was written by her publicist, and it goes like this. Several years ago, I made an error in judgment <laughs> by inviting the media into the most intimate area of my life. Most intimate area of your life. <laughs> okay. She says, a month ago, I filed for divorce. The, now, get this. This is after the woman told you what kind of shoes, what brand of shoes she was wearing, what brand of handbag, what designer was doing her dress. 
She had the website devoted to the two of them getting married. Remember that website we talked about on the air? The uh, Marriage of Star and Al. They had that big uh, website where you could uh, learn all about it, and they were registered somewhere, and you could send them wedding gifts and all that nonsense. I mean, she didn't just uh, let people into one intimate area of her life. You knew everything about her. So get this. Here, Here's the ultimate hypocrisy. The ultimate hypocrisy here. She says the dissolution of a marriage is a difficult time in anyone's life that requires privacy with one's thoughts. Yes, she's requesting privacy now. Well, guess what, Star? You've got all the privacy you want because you don't have a goddamn job! Why she was on TV in the first place, I don't know, but it's clear she lost her job because of this stupid relationship. She lost her job because she couldn't shut up about this relationship. She lost her job because she couldn't shut up about all the people giving her free stuff that she mentioned on The View. It was it was payola and plugola, for God's sake. Where's the FCC when these things happen? There was nothing private about Star Jones. And now that what all of us knew to be true is finally happening, that there was no way the sham of a marriage would ever survive, now she's requesting privacy. Well, let me tell you something, you big fat tumble lard. You're not getting any goddamn privacy. We're going to be all over this like a cheap suit. We're going to be all over this like white on expensive rice at Costco and Sam's Club. That's what we're going to be. Now she wants her privacy. Oh, no, honey, you're not getting any goddamn privacy. What brand of shoes are you wearing now? I hope you still got some friends over at Payless. You know what I'm talking about, dear? <laughs> Pick up some of those fine plastic shoes at Payless, darling. I wonder what Star does to earn a living now. Wait till this guy takes her to the cleaners. Oh, man. <laughs> Her statement continues, I have committed myself to handling this situation with dignity and grace like you've ever done that before. I look forward to emerging from this period as a stronger and wiser woman. We were all a few steps ahead of you, darling. <laughs> Couldn't you see what all of us saw? <laughs> Obviously not. Finally, a man showed interest in you. <laughs> I mean, I cannot, what kind of guy would have an interest in seeing that naked? I've said this many times before. How many men out there, I don't care if she's got a gastric bypass, how many of you want to see that naked? Who in the world? Yes, the uh, piece says here, uh, Associated Press piece continues, it is not the approach that Jones took when she threw her uber-lavish Park Avenue wedding to Reynolds in November 2004. She received criticism for endlessly discussing the wedding and plugging its sponsors as a co-host on ABC's The View. The negative reaction to the affair, was, which was attended by guests ranging from Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton to Spike Lee was cited by Barbara Walters as a reason why Jones's contract wasn't renewed by ABC's The View in 2006. The former prosecutor recently hosted a talk show on that channel that used to be called Court TV, and now it's called True TV, T-R-U. They call it T-R-U TV. It's kind of like the why they call it Cheese Whiz, C-H-E-E-Z, Whiz, because it doesn't contain the actual cheese. To my knowledge, same thing with true. If something was true, it would be T-R-U-E. It's like when you go to a submarine shop and they sell you a sandwich with K-R-A-B. It's kind of the same thing. Or when they tell you that a particular candy bar is chocolatey, that means it's reminiscent of chocolate. It doesn't mean it necessarily contains chocolate. So, yeah, true TV. <laughs> Gotta love it. Star Jones, that big, fat whale. Now she's getting a divorce. Your opportunity to jump on her carcass right now. Tom, Tom, Tom. 
Like this. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Dude, you've given me the roadmap to go over the wall, get in my neighbor's yard, and get my testicles out of a tree. It's the Tom Like It Show. It's the Tom Like It Show. I want 800 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Star Jones has filed for divorce. Is anybody surprised? Does anybody think that somebody like Star Jones can get anybody halfway decent to stay with her? Come on. Big, fat, sassy broad. Can't shut up. Looks atrocious. Now not even employed, as far as we can tell. No regular TV program. Or she's not a uh, prosecutor or an attorney on a regular basis that we know of. What the hell is going on? I mean, is anybody surprised? Is anybody the least bit surprised? Does anybody think Star Jones deserves to find love? Does anybody feel badly? Does anybody care about Star Jones, for Christ's sake? Seriously. And yes, Dean, she was taking stripper pole lessons at one time. I think she was doing the S Factor. That's Sheila Kelly. That's right. Can you, we talked about that on the air. Can you imagine that getting up on a pole? Just imagine how much reinforcement you'd have to do on that pole. Imagine that thing swinging around on a pole. Yeah, it'd have to be a telephone pole. You're absolutely right. Star Jones getting a divorce. We told you that would happen. At the time she was getting married, we had a number of people who were like do-gooders and calling up feeling sorry for Star. And they were just amazed that we could criticize Star for being a big fat pig with a big mouth. Who we're all tired of. Is she still doing that uh, red carpet show for the TV Guide channel? Was it the TV Guide Show? E. She was doing E. That's what it was. She replaced uh, Joan Rivers, went to the TV Guide Show. Who even knows? Uh, I have to call one of my gay friends and find out what channel she's on. you got to be kidding me. Just amazing. Dean, do you need a roommate over there in the 90069? Al Reynolds probably needs a new place to live. He can afford it. Well, he'll be able to afford it after he takes Star for whatever she's got left. I'm just wondering. I mean, you know, here's the thing. Star Jones gets all these write-ups. Star Jones has a website when she opens her big mouth. Star Jones has stories about Star Jones, her marriage, her divorce, her leaving the view, whatever. And yet, I don't know people who even give a rat's ass about Star Jones. Just that she's a huge, huge, huge chick. Big. I bet that uh, stomach stapling's coming out now. She'll be eating and, you know, trying to uh, make herself feel better. <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred top. I figured for sure there'd be some of those big fat sassy broads calling in to defend her. Where are they? I mean, did she have any fans at all? Did anybody watch her on that stupid show, The View? Huh? <laughs> Justin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. What do you think Star Jones' stretch marks look like? <laughs> they look like the New York City subway map. They got to be terrible. You know, she's she's part yeah. New of York the City subway. America. The New York City subway has 480 stations. Yeah, well, you want to know where those girls are? They lost their phone in her fat folds. That's where they, <laughs> they are. She's part of the problem. She goes out. She's got a lot to say about everybody. Then, then you know, now things are turning towards her. And oh, what does she want to do? Oh, I've respected everybody's privacy. Both. Please yeah. respect my privacy at this time. But, but think about it, Tom. If you're Star Jones. How are you going to get through life? Rosie O'Donnell beat you out of a job. <laughs> I mean, Star Jones is annoying. Rosie O'Donnell's way more annoying, and she 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 knocked her out of that show. And then and she got fired. Quit. 
She didn't even want the gig. Well, she she was not renewed. Oh, Rosie too. Rosie was not renewed. Oh well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, for for whatever reasons. But the fact is, you know, all these shows have to have some fat fatty with a big mouth, uh, so that the fat fatties who watch daytime TV will feel, you know, comfortable. You can't have five yeah, well, beautiful not, women I'm not, I'm not, talking at about least stuff. I'm not that big. <laughs> Tom, you're doing God's work. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. You know, um, I don't know how attractive Star Jones will be now that she lost all the weight. Um, you know, the guy, one of the guys before me mentioned the stretch marks. I didn't think of that. But, you know, I noticed you're calling her overweight. I mean, what about her? She had the lipo. She lost all No, weight. she did not. Have, I don't think she had lipo. I believe that I read that she had had uh, gastric bypass surgery. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's But weird. even after that, she's still fat. She's just not as fat as she used to be. Uh, I thought, you know, I thought I saw a picture of her and she was a lot lighter. She looked more attractive, but yeah, you know, I'll admit. It was so if she was 225 pounds and now she's 160, that would be lighter. Well, but certainly not heavy. slender. She didn't look that heavy to me, but I don't know. I didn't see her with her clothes off, so I don't know. And can you imagine how loose all that skin is? Yeah, that's true, unless they tighten the skin. If I don't you put know. your hands in there, like be putting your hands in bread dough, you know what I'm talking about? You could kind of knead it. Yeah, and then she's probably a ball buster still, so I'll admit it. Yeah. Well, you'd have to have balls first to have them busted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, I'll admit you're probably right. I don't see how she could stay married. I mean, what straight male could be married to that? I'm serious. Yeah, you, you can go ahead and blow me up, Tom. I certainly will. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay, Eric. Hey, listen, I think Star Jones is going to turn out just like the other large lady on there. Uh, what's her name? Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Right? Yes. Yeah. I cannot imagine why people give these people the attention that they're actually getting, especially Star Jones. So I, I have to agree with you, but also... Well, she, she's good. put out a press release, and now it's a news story that she's getting a divorce, and now she requests her privacy. Who cares about her divorce? Hey, who cares about Britney Spears' fiasco? Who cares about any of them? They're well, that, that, they, here's the ironic thing. She's going to get privacy, all right, because after I'm done this hour of talking about her, nobody gives a rat's ass about Star Jones anymore. I mean, she'll be begging people to pay attention to her. She'll be on TV talking about her divorce. She'll be taking calls on Larry King about her divorce. Anything to get attention. That's terrible. And now, can I ask you, uh, why do people still give Rosie O'Donnell the attention as well? Again? I mean, what is it with the view is that uh, these ladies who uh, are probably going through menopause... The view is one of these TV shows, attention. like Oprah... That uh, that appeal to empty-headed broads who want to feel like they know something about what's going on in the news, even though they don't really get a whole lot of news. It makes women think. It's it's like Oprah has a book club now. Do you really believe the average fatty sitting home watching Oprah is going out and buying books and reading? Absolutely uh, not. They this can't is a even fantasy. Their own lives, Tom. And they need Oprah to tell them what to read. Are you kidding me? No, those people cannot control their own lives. I don't understand why the American public keeps listening to them. Uh, I just can't believe someone keeps signing them to contracts uh, to come to work. Well, uh, Tom, I got to agree with you. In every show that I listen to, I agree with you, even about the girls that, uh, that live in California. I know they're all nuts, but you got to love them. Hey, can you take me out with the bomb toke? Here you go, Eric. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom on the Tom Likas show. It's Christy. Hello, Christy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Who am I speaking with? Who do you want to talk to? I want to talk to Tom. All right. Let me see if I can find it for you.
the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Christy, hello. Hello. Yes. Is this Tom? Who do you want to talk to? I want to talk to Tom. Hold on, please. The Tom Likas Show. I'm 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Christy, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I have my big sister calling in. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to say, and I hate, I, I know I'm a big sister or whatever, but I just got this way and I'll crack you. I'm set. But you guys are 100% right. I'm sorry, but I cannot stand Star Jones. <laughs> I cannot. Her and Elizabeth. Oh my God! We just need to get rid of her. But Star Jones has a, the audacity to throw all her stuff out there, like you said. Her wedding. Everyone who sponsored her, and now she wants some privacy because she just found out after everyone in the whole United States of America and outside the country <laughs> told her her husband is gay. That's that's your opinion, Christy. We don't know no, that for sure. That's a fact. Really? You know that for a fact? Those are please, like you said. How many straight men do you know gonna marry a big blob like that? Please, come on now. She I, had money. One thing I will say, we have figured out the rice shortage. That it's because that's how much rice they needed at her wedding. <laughs> for such a big target. Oh my god, I love you right now. You just don't know how much I'm <laughs> glad you put it out there. I love you. <laughs> thank you, Christy. No, thank you, sweetheart, for finally doing some somebody said something. Absolutely. There we go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. D on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, listen. Yes. I just, I, w I just tuned in uh to you, so I heard that stars i'm not i want to be clear before i make a comment that guy dumped her big ass no no well we don't know what he dumped okay like pretty much no other way I, once you take your cross the threshold the all you can do is dump her but uh no no she has uh filed for divorce oh okay this was just a news flash but i had to jump on the phone to get to you but you know what my prediction is I uh, that was after he went to the store and bought a thomas guy to find his way through all those folds but you know what? Here's my prediction. Talk. It's the first woman anyone ever have married. They had to get GPS to find their way in. Oh, navigation system. That's so, right. What? I think she's going immediately. Turn left at the next fold. No, Tom, she's going to reverse her staple. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> She's going to reverse the stapling of her stomach and go to McDonald's. <laughs> Come on, she wants, she needs her privacy at this delicate time. Dee, how could you say things like that? Please, that woman was disgusting. I wanted to barf every time I saw her on the View. <laughs> oh, she, she, you know, the ironic thing is she used to come off like, oh, I'm so so sexy and petite and just. Oh. A <laughs> police? Oh, my. She's repulsive. Totally repulsive. Well, I, you know what? I have to say this. I have to weigh in on this, okay? I hope that guy takes a bunch of money from her because... Watch your mouth. We can't say that word on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, uh, she's just kind of in over her head, shall we say. In over her head? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think Al Reynolds was in over his head. <laughs> well, oh, my yeah. God. Look in there. Wow. You can swim in that for how long, you know? I mean, give me a break. I can charge maintenance for living in there. Look at that. <laughs> Poor guy. I think he's going to need a little bit of therapy after this. <laughs> Traumatizing when you... Body like that. It must be traumatized. She needs her privacy at this time. She requires dignity and privacy. <laughs> that is quite comical. <laughs> As I always say, Tom, what goes around comes around. That's right. But in Star Joe's case, what goes around takes a while to come around. <laughs> but, Tom, please. Because you know what they say when she sat around the house. Remember my name, D, in Newport Beach. 
I promise you, she's going to undo the zipper in the stomach, and she's going to go for the Big Macs. I got it. <laughs> she needs a staple remover. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. <laughs> I love these calls coming in here. Jimmy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, sir. I just want to say you are absolutely right about all these fatties we, we see on the TV, sir. Yes. I mean, you know, they, if, they, if they're not, uh, you know, it's weird, man. Uh, what I'm seeing, Tom, with a lot of these celebrity magazines, it's always some big, gigantor, job of the hut, chunky butt girl that's introducing, uh, introducing these, you know, uh, cookie cut and properly dressed celebrities. But they, but they look like they just came from a buffet or something. Because they're supposed to look like the viewer. Yeah, oh, so I, oh, is that what? Oh, so that's, that's what, what it is. It. Yes. That's what I'm missing. It. Okay. So this is why you don't see Jessica Alba hosting a daytime show. You don't see uh, really. Even when Tyra Banks went to do a daytime show, she had to gain what fifty pounds. <laughs> you have to look like the viewer. You're right. That makes sense, man. So the, the viewer is at home on the couch eating Cheetos. And you don't drinking. want the viewer feeling threatened. You know how women get jealous? You don't want the viewer feeling threatened. They said to Tyra Banks, if you want to do TV, you're going to have to chunk up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Her, and her, she her, did her, it. Tom, her booty got so big. Huge. Yeah, that stomach started popping out. That's and right. That, that, that ne that little that little crane neck turned into like some kind of a a, a coffee can size. <laughs> I swear, dude. And, and you know, yeah. So I mean, well, whatever, whatever. She looked like she was like you know uh, ch chopping it all down: burritos, tacos, hamburgers, and and you know fries and everything. Man, it looked, it looked like she just you know, man. I, I swear. So that that's what I'm missing. Then okay, yes, oh, okay, professor. That's why that's they replace one fatty with another. You gotta have people on these shows that look like the viewer big fat useless women who have nothing better to do than watch the tube during the day and see and Tom, this is another question i want to ask you man why is it they have these phrases like oh she's big boned no nah, she's a big butt she's that's right a big butt. <laughs> well the, the fact is the bones don't get any bigger the bones stay the same the, say it again the, the bones the, stay the same oh okay you, okay. you know who's big okay. boned dinosaurs that's what it is. Okay. Well, 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 okay. Well, another one is well, what's the other one? Well, plus size. Plus size. That that is so that is so weak, man. Bus plus size. size. Bus size is more like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Anyway, Tom, uh, blow it up, blow it up, partner. There you go, Jimmy. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. What was that again? Were you not listening to me, sir? I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Well, I couldn't hear a word that you were saying either. I see. That's great. I like the level of discourse here. It's fantastic. It's the Tom Likas Show. Ah, from Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Star Jones is getting a divorce. <laughs> and now she needs privacy. Star needs privacy. What a, she's not getting any here. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. Ed on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. 55 years old, long-time listener, been using your techniques since I was 14, and they work. Love it. Hey, uh, that butt is so big, it looks like two trash bags stuffed with cottage cheese. <laughs> but I know what the attraction was. She had that talk show, and the guy liked to sit around and chew the fat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for that. That was it. He shot his wad right there. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Todd on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's an honor to speak to you. It is indeed. Hey, uh, listen, I really got to disagree with you today. Uh, you know, this woman is getting divorced. Uh, she's going to have depression coming. The stomach staples are coming out. I think there can be a shortage of food in America. Yeah. Well, I guess if you live at Star Jones's house, you might be a shortage of food. 
Uh, I'm on my way to Costco right now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they they're just they just place limits on the amount of uh, pancake batter that you can buy at one time. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, can you take me out old school, Tom? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Somebody sent me a story about Carney Wilson. Speaking of the corpulent. Carney's been on our show. She's actually been a caller many times. Uh, this was a headline in Us Weekly. Carney Wilson, colon. I have not gained 79 pounds. <laughs> and there's a photo here, Gary. Photo of Carney Wilson. Carney Wilson, colon? Uh, no, no, just Carney Wilson. Oh. Uh, people who speak Spanish know what Carney means. means uh, meat, right? <laughs> there you go. Yes. Here's the quote. If I'm 205 today, that means I'm up 70 pounds. She was upset about the National Enquirer saying she'd gained 79 pounds. They were claiming she's going to have another gastric bypass surgery. Looks like she needs it. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mimi on the Tom Likas show. Yes, Mimi. Um... Why is her face still as big as it was before she even lost the weight? I don't get it. I guess because they can't uh, put a staple in your face. But that doesn't make sense. You might as well not get the surgery if your face is going to look that big. Like, She's still got a big her head. Eyes, like, do you have thyroid problems as well? Like, what is wrong with your face? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> but with her getting married and everything... Now she wants the privacy because she's not going to have anybody on her arm anymore. She knows. Well, she's going to have. <laughs> she is going to have so much privacy. She has no idea how much privacy she's going to get. Really? <laughs> she's going to be wishing for the days when people went on to make fun of her, like I'm doing right now. Exactly. You know, all she has to do is ask, and we can keep it going as long as we feel. <laughs> oh my! Who's her next husband? There's a whole other show you could do. Who is her next hmm. husband? Who do we hook her up with? Might as well just try to get a date with Rosie O'Donnell. I think they can probably work out. <laughs> I think that I think that'll be her best bet. You know, because if she turns then there, wait, again, wait. If you match her up with Rosie O'Donnell, that would explain the flower shortage. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, hey, who else can love a woman like a woman can? Right? Especially that is that's a lot of women. You know, maybe she just needs an entourage. Maybe she needs a reality show. I've never seen chocolate pudding stacked that high. You know what I'm talking about, dear? I've never seen chocolate pudding stacked that high. Have you? Oh, my goodness. With no other, nothing else added. Just... You know, all that saggy skin after the gastric bypass surgery, I imagine... What journal does she use? I want to know that. Touching... Know something is trying to peek out. Touching her abs must be like sticking your fingers into like, like brownie dough and you're going to make brownies. Your you feet, fingers kind of sink into that, you know? Did you say that she was doing pole dancing lessons? She yes, when she was first uh, first uh, getting married, but she was engaged. She told the other uh, members of the View That's panel. Probably why they're getting divorced right now because she probably tried to pull the dance on him, and he was oh. like, "Oh my god!" Can you imagine that swinging around the pole? Oh, um, she can probably do all the moves at one time. <laughs> <laughs> I, are you kidding me? I, what building inspector would you have to bribe to put up a pole strong enough for her to get up on? No, it's, it's already hazardous. They don't even want to go in. It's already hazardous. <laughs> they need life insurance full coverage. <laughs> I'm going to go check out Star Jones, kiss the kids for me if I don't come home safe. I love you. <laughs> I'm just glad I don't look like that. I'm just so glad. Like, you look at her, you. I am blessed. Wow. Thanks. Talking about rolling a woman in flour and looking for the wet spot, you'd have to send a, a, a search party out to find the wet spot. Are you kidding me? No, you have to dip her in flour first <laughs> so everything is pliable enough to come apart without something popping out at you and trying to kill you. Imagine the smell her body gives off. Well, that's the thing. I think on her fave, her fave five are the five rolls on her gut. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I can't. I man, wow, wow! I, I wow. Maybe she needs to go into you know. Maybe she needs to get a nice horse, you know, 
Love it real good. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, well, I, I haven't heard a lot of complaints from people. Horses and horses and cows get along great. Uh, I have a ranch, and I've seen it. Government pictures, Rockwallers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, at this That's delicate crazy. time, she needs privacy, yes. Yeah. Yes, the dissolution of a marriage is a difficult time in anyone's life that requires privacy with one's thoughts. With anything, you will want people to have sympathy for you and send you cards, you know? Yeah. No. Well, yeah, if you want to send a card to Star Joe, send it to Unemployment Line, New York City, 10251. Yeah, with a donation. <laughs> here, girl, here's a hundred dollars. <laughs> Girl, I, <laughs> I like I said. I hope she's still got that contact at Payless shoes because you know where she's gonna have to go next. Oh, she's gonna have to do flats because them heels. <laughs> 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 Those heels. And it's summertime too. Don't get no jelly star jokes, please. Don't get jelly. They're going to melt. And two. <laughs> okay. Let's just let. Funny socks are pretty comfortable. You know, just have them in your car. If they get dirty at the bottom, put them over there. Oh, hey, my. Shoes. Oh, my goodness. They can go to Africa. You know, they think big women are very wealthy. Hey. Well, not only that, not only that, after you've had that gastric bypass surgery, you kind of get those National Geographic boobs. You know the kind I'm talking about? <laughs> but at least you can swing around. They don't in swing around, your nipples are always uh, hanging south. You know the deal there. <laughs> oh, wow. Imagine that. Al Reynolds, I'll bet he's heartbroken. Or broken somewhere else. <laughs> we haven't seen him. Well, I haven't. Yeah, where has he been? He might have a couple of braces, physical therapy. You know, if he needs a better doctor, I have a good chiropractor to coach you. <laughs> I know your back is shot. Okay, I know it is. <laughs> and you know one thing? He had to be well endowed. Because if she's that big, you have to have a well enough package to, you know, keep her happy, I would say. No, she didn't need the Yeah, but how could you possibly have that if you had to look at her naked? That's my point. Hey. Darkness is a good thing. You need total darkness. She passed two. Our souls to become one. Okay. She passed <laughs> two bagger status a long time ago. Are you kidding? <laughs> she, oh wow. She's not a butterface. She's a butter ass. Butter everything. <laughs> this is not gonna work. How about you just? I'll talk to you over the phone. We can have a long, long relationship like that. Send me pictures of other women. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, she needs privacy at this delicate time. <laughs> yeah, nothing's delicate on her body. I don't know what she's tripping about. The only delicate thing is probably the egg rolls with the light, crispy outer <laughs> core. <laughs> I can see you are. I can see you are really heartbroken that Star's marriage didn't work out. <laughs> hey, I heard Krispy Kreme make you feel good. So. <laughs> you know what Krispy Kreme is? That's what uh, she has to clean out from between her thighs. Yeah, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Get the product. <laughs> Brad Michaels. Then we get Flavor Flav and Star Jones do a reality show again. Wouldn't that be fun? Unbelievable. The Tom Likas Show.